Okay, guys and girls, uh, this is where things get a bit weird because, <laughs> yeah, Nick going on about weird stuff on his channel. Yes, obviously that's a very new thing, isn't it? But what the hell? Let's get some light on my face so that you can see me and I can be illuminated and stuff. All right, I got an order. This stuff called Wayusa. This is um, a form of tea. It's related to yerba mate, which is stuff which I think I've shown you before because I'm someone who loves infusing things. Um, and infusion, infusion, yes, tea, tea. <laughs> like a mad person I am. Right. <laughs> and this stuff is um, notorious for being a lucid dream inducing tea. So it's got all the cool stuff, the, you know, the yerba mate has got, it's got theobromine, so it raises your mood and relaxes you and combats stress. It's also got a bit of caffeine in it, and there's a way of taking it before bed and also during the night in which will give you totally clear dreams. That's the idea, or at least it will help in the process. And I was thinking I could try and practice that with uh, the use of the mind machine as well, plus, uh, meditation and visualizations based upon astral projection to see if that helps the whole process. The reason I want to, I mean, what I'm not going to do is play around with all like the, um, some of the more popular uh, herbal psychedelics which are out there these days because I think that's bad and you shouldn't have to do it. But there's something about the balance of um, the caffeine and the theobromine ratios and the vitamins and the minerals that's in this uh, guayusa or wayusa which is believed to like um, help the brain to enter into that particular variety of like uh, focused relaxation kind of like sleep paralysis -y type thing as well as keep you alert so I thought that would actually be quite good and just basically give it a go follow the kind of like visualization straight from Sylvan Muldoon and Harewood Carrington's The Projection of the Astral Body see what kind of experiences I can get from that and then basically sort of like a vlog as I go, you know, just having maybe one cup a night for a week and just give, possibly, you know, this just stuff. So, you know, maybe I should be doing this in the style I did the videos like Herbs You Need to Know with a black background saying, hey, this stuff is going to trick you the fuck out, man. Yeah, cool, but whatever. And I'm excited about this not because it's like some kind of like trippy through the rabbit hole kind of like, you know, weird stuff, but because... It's not a, a you know, a, a proper, proper psychoactive. It's not there to fuck your brain chemistry so hard that you might as well just like, you know, open up the head here, you know, remove the brain and fry it for breakfast and eat it because it won't be good for anything else. It's not gonna be like that for me. It's just like, a sort of like a buzzy, relaxing type thing, which is comfortable. And you can take it during the day, just like a regular tea as well, like yoga. And, that sounds to me like a cool thing to play around with in practice. It's um, important for me to sort of like look at the herbal kingdom as things which can provide inspiration, as well as being aware of the ones which could damage the body too much. So I don't use hops all that much anymore because I'm getting older and hops can damage the kidneys and liver and so on and so forth. If you use in excess, of course, when I was younger, I just like took a massive teapot, shoved about like a quarter of an ounce in there, infused a lot, drunk a lot, and uh, went a bit meditational and weird but that's that's not something i would recommend because i think it's dangerous okay that quantity of hops it can be bad for you so wayusa is the next big boom um, experimentational weird thing that i'm going to be playing with uh, and i like it because it's just a tea you know a tea you can have at night perfectly normal all right so I want to like skirt, you know, the outsides of all the weird stuff. I don't, I, you know, if you, I don't want to go any further than a certain boundary, right? And beyond that boundary is all like the, you know, the funny funguses and the rest of that stuff, which just goes straight into the brain and like, you know, activates things that shouldn't be activated and creates new connections where they shouldn't be any. So the next thing you know, you're having a really philosophical, com you know, conversation with like a lamppost and you think that the lamppost has got a better argument than yourself and that sort of thing. I don't want to be there so I'm not going to. What I'm going to do is just go up to that boundary and not cross it because that's like the way, you know, that's the way. Uh, so when I get it, I'll show it to you. I'll show you the way I'm going to prepare it and brew it and stuff and yeah man, time to play.